써요. 640. There's water in there, but. Welcome in, welcome in, peoples. We're doing wheatgrass and peas tonight. A little bit later, because we had dentist appointment and um, went to watch a movie. So, enjoyed a little bit of our time watching the movie. So, now we're going to be planting wheatgrass and peas tonight. The great thing about owning a business, a micro farm, you can do that. Stuff still has to get done, but you know you can change things around for whatever you want to do. The Enchanted Path. Hello, how are you? Doing great. Went and watched a movie with the wife tonight, so it's afternoon. So that's always good. It's been a minute. I think it's been at least three months since we've seen the last one. Something like that. So yeah, a good day. How was your day? Nice, I hope you enjoyed your time. Yes, enjoyed the time. Always a good time. Don't get to do it often, but don't take the time to do it often. I guess we can do it whenever we want, but I only go now, really movies I really, really want to watch. I used to go watch movies all the time. Well, this is pretty much what when we really want something's watching. Been pretty good running errands today. Awesome. Sixteen, that's what I counted out, so I hope so. Oh, Christina, how are you? Is the wheatgrass good for farmer's market selling? Yeah, we sell a lot at the farmer's market. Um, the busy farmer's market will sell almost two flats. Uh, the smaller one, about, you know, almost close to one, four flat of eights. Uh, so we do two farmers markets during the market season, the summer season. So we'll sell about three flats per week just there. Uh, we sell 16 to 18 every week to grocery stores uh, right now. So grocery stores have been good for us for wheatgrass. Not something I really thought they would take off in, in grocery stores, but it has. Riley, hello, how are you? I don't know why you popped up on my feed, but it's cool because I was just about to start some trays. Nice. That's why. The algorithm got gotcha. you. That's how it happens. You probably said something about growing some microgreen trays or something, and boom. Didn't even have to say it out loud, probably. You probably didn't even say it out loud, and we're here. So welcome. Christina, I just start. I started my first time this year Wondering if I should offer them right off, right off, along with five basic sellers. Yeah, I would. Wheatgrass is an easy grow. Anything to sell in these five by fives live. Don't even have to pack them or anything. No harvesting or packing. So awesome. So 
So really the only time you spend on them is planting and watering them. Which these things only grow for six days. So two, two days germination, three days? Two days germination, yeah. Two days germination, and then uh, four days under the lights, and they're ready to go. We wanted to deliver them a little short, not completely like really tall. You don't want to, you know, like that, you know, going into grocery store. So you want to get the right height for the grocery store, so they have some room to grow, uh, but they're good, also good to go too. Uh, we are located in central Illinois, right? Jim is having one more workout for the night, so y'all guys will probably hear them. They're a little quiet right now, though. Yeah, if you guys like these kind of things, make sure you like this. Tap the screen, give some hearts, however that works on the shorts. I appreciate it. Help you get out to more people. Oh. Hey boy. Santos, how are you, buddy? Uh, Christine Leffer goes with pea, broccoli, peas, radish, spicy mix. Is that all good to go with? Yeah. Um, we started out with uh, broccoli, peas, radish, salad mix, and uh, sunflowers. Uh, and that's the first markets we went to. That's all we had. Uh, we didn't even have wheatgrass in the beginning. Uh, so that's all we went with. So yeah, you can make it at that. Obviously, you start adding more products as you go and stuff and everything else, but you still can sell good just with them four products for sure. Sky Mitchell, how are you? Welcome. Gonna do my farmers, first farmer's market at the end of the month. Any tips? Uh, make sure you stand out. Um, stand up, stand, uh, stand up, but stand out. So like color, we use color ta tablecloths, green tablecloths to attract people's eyes. We have the products on a vertical stand so people can see them. But after looking down at the table, bring a cooler. Keep all your products in the cooler besides one to display. Stand up all the time and talk to everybody that comes by. Say hi. Get their intention. Don't wait for them to come to the stand. Just say hi as they walk by and be pleasant and be ready to talk to them about microgreens and what the health benefits of them are. Yeah, the farmers market came out. Yeah, Farmers America video came out this week. It came out on Tuesday. Yeah, so you can check that out on the channel as far as markets video. Uh, you can bring live trays like it's in there so people can see how they're grown. And if you can harvest off of them and sample, that's even better. If you're allowed to sample, definitely sample if you're allowed to. Uh, my wife is planting over there. She's doing uh, the wheatgrass. I'm filling the trays, and she's putting the wheat, wheatgrass into the 5x5s, five five spreading them out. Just got out of soak. We soak for four to six hours. Really depends on when we get to a minimum of four hours. You could go up to 12 hours if you want, but four hours works this fine. You have to have a business license and all that jazz to start a farmer's market. That depends on your farmer's market uh, and your city. So whatever they require. Uh, but you can get a sole proprietor business license, just doing business as whatever. Um, and that usually suffices too. That's what we started with. We didn't have an LLC or anything like that. 
uh, but they probably will require some kind of insurance as well, usually, some farmers markets, but you don't have to, a business license can be just simply doing business as, uh, as well. So you don't have to do an LLC or corporation or anything like that. What's your process for wheatgrass, blackout time, bottom watering? Well, the process is fill the five by fives, soak the wheatgrass for up to minimum of four hours, up to 12. Seed them like uh, Jess is doing over there. We top water and then we stack and put in germination for two days. And then we give it a top water coming out of germination and bottom water from there and it's underneath the lights for four days. And then it goes to the grocery stores. Sunflowers, yes. Uh, we got a couple videos on our channel about sunflowers you can check out. Uh, the newest one uh, did a battle between uh, Greener Harvest Mums and Donnie Green Seeds. Uh, and you can check out which one won there. But we also have How Just to Grow Sunflowers, the original one that was just true leaf seeds. Oh, Azure. We had Azure, yeah. Oh, gee. Yeah, sunflower seeds were hard to find in 2021 when we did that video, so. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. I'll give it a look. Okay, yep. Enchanted Path, really into your market videos, lots of great info on there. Thank you. We try. We give more info on our school group. We go way in depth on our school group. Private, free community. If anybody's interested in that, let me know. I need more soil. Y'all. It's very easy to sell produce in New Mexico where I'm at. Is it very easy? Um, well, pro everybody's got to eat, you know, so as long as people are eating, uh, you can sell it. Uh, it's just how you market it, uh, how you brand it, and if you can explain it correctly, um, really what it goes down to. Marketing, it's all about marketing. You gotta know how to market your business. You can have the greatest product in the world. If nobody knows about it, they're not gonna buy it. And they don't know why you're passionate about it? Yep. It Share your passion. Yep. Who's working with you all? Is it just y'all? It's just me and my wife. Um, we give a kid about 10 hours a week uh, to do uh, dishes. Um, and he sweeps the floors and does little things like that, but we could do it without him. But we just give him the hours. It's his senior year in high school, so it gives him flexibility to do things with choir and other activities with school and stuff and finish out his senior year really good. So um, that's why. And I don't have to do dishes that way either. So. <laughs> but needed? No. Appreciated, yeah. Very much appreciated. Not as much regulation here for produce and eggs. And eggs? There's big pro. Uh, here, eggs are highly regulated. Yeah, I mean, eggs are a whole different ball game. Here, produce not much. As long as you're a single cut produce, which is what we are. Lettuce on a very tiny scale. Yeah, there's still regulations. You gotta, you gotta clean them off. You have to wash them and store them properly and all that stuff. You know, the only country in the world that does that. But yeah, whatever. Can't sell them on Facebook. Can't sell them on Facebook. 
Uh, we soaked peas for four hours. Four hours soak on peas. Minimum four? Up to 12. Depends on what works best for your process, really. I don't like having to wait till nighttime to soak things, so I'd rather just soak them in the morning. So we figured out a way to get it down to a shorter time frame and not have to do overnight soaks. By testing and experimenting. Lots of that. Now I'm just going to spread these out. She puts it all on there. I come and spread out. As soon as she's done, she'll start spreading them out again. This is a very fancy measure, also known as a protein shake scoop. Measures out perfectly. Very exact measurement. Not really, but it measures it all perfectly. We found that it works great for wheatgrass. Getting them a slight spread and just pushing down lightly just to give them some contact with the soil. But they'll get a lot of pressure when the weight goes on them, so. Twenty, so one ounce per five by five. Sorry. Yeah, one ounce per five by five. That sounds dangerous. Whatever they're doing over there, sounds like they're going something else. What's the best way to transport multiple live trays? And they collapse. Collapsible produce crates. And then they stack on top of each other too. So check with your local produce guy. If possible. If not, go to Aldi. They have apple boxes that stack and lock into each other. They're produce boxes. That's what we started with. That's what we started with. We would bring our uh, wheatgrass and um, any live trays we went to the market with into those boxes from Aldi. Sometimes we just stop by this to pick up boxes. Yep. And they're happy to give them to you. They're more than happy to not have to throw them away. But then we're a great gift from our produce manager, one of our stores. Build great relationships with your produce people. Even if you're not selling to them, they'll probably be willing to give them to you. Yeah. Want to slide? Yes. We'll do it that way this time. That was heavy. I could use some more on this one. Miscount. We're only doing 15. I thought we were doing 16. I'm all by Ed? That's all right. Any other questions? Oh. Great advice. Thank you. Absolutely. Oh, yep.
Still waiting for him to break the wall one day. I was leaving that for you. Leaving that one for me? Yep. Okay. Making sure you're paying attention. Yes. Gotcha. I don't know where they're all at, but there's not enough toppers over there. Uh, there's some up there. Yeah, I know. That's why I said there's oh. not enough over there. There's not enough there. Um, good question. I think they're still up on the rack somewhere around to check them out. I didn't take them to the dish room. Mm -hmm. The kid doesn't look anywhere else, though. Oh, no, we don't. It's an 18 year old. All right, she's finishing the last few there, yep. Yeah, thank you for the nice job, appreciate that, Nancy. Red Sutter Farms, yep, talk about that, so awesome. All right, whole planting of wheatgrass, you know, got a water and everything else, 15 trays down. We're just uh, 24 minutes here, didn't start right away when I started the camera, so, you know, under 30 minutes to get to get 15 trays done, not too bad. And then we gotta do 24 trays of peas. So yeah. So Jess is going to get the hose now, come over and water all of them. Dope one. What is the moment you realized this was profitable business and pa turned your passion into a business? Um, about three months in, three to four months in, we really knew it was probably going to be something. Um, and six months, we were full time. Both of us were full time. It was enough money to pay our bills. Uh, so we went full time and haven't looked back yet. No time to look back. Yep, a little heavy water. You get that grass a going. It's kind of a double uh, swipe back and forth there. That's what she does on each one of them. So. Because they're in deep trays, there's a lot of soil there that they can, uh, they can handle that water and they enjoy that water, so. Yeah, it's what, once we started hitting, you know, $500 a week, yeah. 
and it was about three months in, that's when I knew that it, this is going to be a business. Let's go for it. Let's really push and really go. Are those micros considered hydroponic? No, they're all grown in a soil base, so they're, they're not hydroponic. We have some hydroponic lettuce that we do. We only stack these ones three high. Yes, because they all taller than single trays, so. That was not straight. I'll just straighten out when I get there anyway. Okay. I always turn them and put them on the shelf on accident. Tracy, how are you? What's between the trays that is a corrugated plastic. Uh, we found out with the five by five setting the tray doesn't quite set on the outside and the sides of uh, the wheatgrass dried out and didn't grow well. So this covers everything. So it makes sure it's a nice solid contact and they grow beautifully with that on there. So just a corrugated plastic cut down to fit just over the trays. Probably could start using, if we wanted to go away from that, we just get more solid uh, hoss trays. Get some hoss trays, right? They'd cover them. Hoss trays would cover them. Does the location determine yields? Example of Arizona worst in? Um, you just gotta control your environment. So you wanna control your environment somewhere between 70 to 75 degrees. We really like six, 72 degrees. Uh, find out that grows best for germination and growth. And keep your humidity about 45 to 50. No lower than 40, no higher than 50. 45 being ultimate. So for the best, 70 to 75 in temp and humidity 40 to 50 in that range. And they should grow just fine. Your yield's gonna make a difference in your seeds, what quality seeds you have, uh, what their germination rates are gonna be. That's gonna determine a lot of your yield and what you're using to grow them in, what medium you're using will determine a lot of that as well. Uh, we started using Coco Local versus a ProMix BX with, that we added Gaia Green in and we got 30% better yield on the Coco Local with no fertilizer added to it. So uh, just helps that little bit of boost, gives that little bit better yield. And keep your temperature, get airflow also. Make sure you have a fan blowing and you have good airflow. Will help out a lot too. Keep mold off of them. Mold needs a place to that, where, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like that can't stay there. That's where it was. No, there? that. Oh, that? No, that's not staying there. Oh, that's not staying there. You're seriously right in my wall pass. You go that way? To go get trays. Oh, I guess. And that needs to go somewhere. Uh, C containers. I don't know what C containers are. Mm -hmm. 
Best way to add CO2 into an enclosed growing space? Um, we don't grow vegetables. <laughs> you, you don't, yeah. So with The other green stuff. The other green stuff. We don't, we don't grow the other green stuff, so microgreens don't need that high of CO2 content. Are we doing 12 and 12 or 24 at a time? Uh, I kind of just do 12 and 12. Okay. Here. And I'm going to do the second, so do these ones first with this, uh, the green, so yellow piece. Yellow piece and green. And then I'm going to put some of the green in the hoss trays. Okay. Are they hoss peas, right? Hoss peas. Into the, yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. Jordan not work today? Huh? Jordan not work today? What is today? Thursday? I think you just took your ass out, so. At least I'm assuming it's him because I don't think anybody else does that, so. It could have been Micah. They look close together. Is everybody else working on this week? Any new microgreens you're growing or anything, you got questions about it or anything at all? I do not. Bad. Bad. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Did not know that. I did not know. It's not been that long since we've ran into them. No. Oh, wow. Well, wow. Yeah. yeah Micah's age, yeah. yeah. Nope, was not aware of that. How long has he been doing that? Buying, buying, buying that? I don't know. John just said he passed away from it. He said he didn't know he had it. It's not been that long. 
Yes, he smoked his whole life. I'm shocked I didn't get messages about that. Finish that so you can spread it. Yeah. Hey, well, not as good as you, but. You use a nice fancy soup bowl, which you probably can't see right now, it's just barely off the camera. And two, two full scoops of that is what we need for peas. That's our measurement for weighing. And we weigh them all in bucket, or we soak them all in buckets, double bucket system. This one's got holes in it. The one that's in does not. All right, uh, put these up there, and I'll go start spreading them as she's dumping them out. I'm going to grab my bucket. Yep. You should have done a couple test trays, not a full half round. Mm -hmm. Never trust. And then, if they're that bad, we call them. Yeah. Like, I didn't complain when they were emptied out into the tray box. Here's pictures, but now this, is this didn't grow well at all. Peas are a much faster process than wheatgrass. The real loaves. Are you at work again tonight? Carlos was on our marketing call last night. Hopefully that was good for you, Carlos. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that, learned something. For anybody who's a lifetime member of our course, it is up and available on that classroom. If you don't have that, let me know. We can get you set up. Hey, thanks for the scribble, John. Appreciate it. 
Yeah, this is half of the peas. We got 12 more to do after this, so. Be right back. I gotta rinse my hand off. They probably can't hear you. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't know they could Hand gets very dirty between peas, so I have to go rinse it between them just so it's not as dirty. It gets pretty, pretty dirty. She's stacking them uh, and putting them over there. I'll go ahead and start filling these next rounds. So we just speed up the process a little bit. Yeah, it was awesome Zoom meeting last night. Thank you, appreciate that. Look forward to the bells and whistles. Yeah, start making it pretty, right? Got, got the foundation built. Now we've got to start putting walls up. Start putting the walls up, start getting some paint put in the marketing. Make it pretty. Make it How many trades you guys average a week? Right now we're right around 280 on a normal week. Yeah. Um, incomplete. Uh, we did like 380 last week and had to kind of find room for everything. Yeah. Because we only have room for 360. So stuff that you know, like wheatgrass that a girl without light, you move that off and stuff like that. The wheatgrass grew next to the light. Next to the light. Uh, so we got two new racks to add. We're going to buy four more this probably next week and build them out so we'll have six more so we'll have room for 480 trays because when market season gets here we'll probably fill that and i'm not sure we're going to get our distributor at this point not for a minute. i just found out how much gap certification actually is well your personal certification we're getting for free but the apparently the farm for them to come down which they got to drive from wisconsin to there. central illinois Six hours. Six hours well, three hours, I guess. Three, four hours. You know, so we got to pay for their drive time at $155 an hour. Their extra work at $155 an hour. And the three hours that they're going to be here. So the total cost is going to be around $3,000. And that's just not in the budget right now. Was not anticipating that at all. So each time just to start... We were kind of not building any more business just because we were waiting to get all that done for the distributor, but I think we're just going to go have to go after some more local self-distributing businesses. And we'll make a budget for it. Yep. But we operate on zero debt, and I'm not going to go stick this on a card or any kind of debt. Yep. How many ounces of wheatgrass in a pack do you charge? We don't sell it by the ounce, we sell it by the container. So then five by fives we just planted, we sell them at retail, $5 a tray, uh, five by five. So that tray is $40. We do not sell it by weight. We sell it live, 
and buy the 5x5 five five tray. Wheatgrass is better for people if they get it home, if they're juicing. It's definitely better for them to clip off and juice it immediately. You're going to get the best nutrients of it because you're going to lose some in a pack. So we went that route. And then they're good for their pets live too. So also went that route for that. So it works out for both routes. So yeah, no cutting, no none of that, which saves you time also. It takes so. a little longer to plant because we got to make it pretty. But it takes a whole lot less time to cut because there is no cutting. All right, cut it. All right, start filling these trays up. Give her a moment because I go pretty fast in uh, seeding the trays once they're on there. Because peas don't take much time to <laughs> spread out, really. So, so in total tonight, we are doing, if you count the wheatgrass trays at 15, these at 24, with 39 trays done tonight. And we plant. All the rest tomorrow. Big planting tomorrow. What are your thoughts on juicing wheatgrass, freezing them for customers? Uh, here, that's regulations. So you have to have, uh, if you do that, you have to have a full health department license to do that, um, which that's $1,000 to get that. So we're also working on that because we want to do some other things for that, some, uh, some juices, some dressings, you know, popcorn, all that kind of stuff. So... Oh, I didn't do five trays of the Oh, well. No host trays. Huh? No host trays. Forgot. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I forgot about it, too. Oops. I know that was planned. <laughs> Did you use the bag that was already open? Yes. That's probably why they're all cracked. I didn't. Because that one was not plan. very low. I took the tap, the, because I cracked it open and took the top off. Out. These are Haas Tools pieced. What are, are they done pieced? Done pieced. Done pieced from Haas Tools. Trying First time to... trying these. Yep. Probably do another twist. Yep. Now these are filling in really good, so there's gonna. They're nice small ones. Yeah. Broken up some, so. First time doing these, getting them out, when you got them out of soak, they're, a lot of them are already broke, which means they're not going to yeah. grow. We're going to keep an so, eye on these very closely, maybe do some additional pea planting tomorrow. Not happy with these so far, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to plant some peas tomorrow to just cover up to make sure that we have enough for the customers, so yeah. Um.
Uh, pea density is uh, 9 to 10 ounces, depending on variety. Uh, so if you're doing grams, 280 to 250, somewhere in there. 250 to 280. How long do you grow them? Uh, these are uh, 10 days, 10 day grow. What size canopy do you guys use at the market? It's based on what size they give you. Um, we give one market, yeah. One market that is, we did one market that they gave you a 12 by 12 space, but only let you have a 10 by 10 tent. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. And then we, other market, we do a 20 foot area, so we can do two 10 by 10 tents, or 10 by 10, a 12 by 12, and an 8 by 8, you know, whatever like that, that you can do. So it depends on what your market allows. But if you can fill up the space, use it, but get a tent that, you know, you, even if you get 20 foot space, if you don't, fill it up, it's going to look empty if you have that big of a tent. So if you get a 10 by 10 tent, fill that up. As you grow in business, you can get another 10 by 10 tent and add that and fill it up and all that. But you want to make sure your area looks full when you're starting out. Do you guys buy ProMix locally or order it online? The ProMix we did buy locally. Uh, the Coco Local now that we get, we uh, buy uh, from a distributor and they deliver to our warehouse. We only got that once we got in the warehouse. Before that, we got ProMix BX uh, from uh, Ace Hardware. They ordered it in for us and kept it, and then we went and picked it up as we needed it. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, the top ordering is so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. It, it, like, cleans the peas off, too, the dirty. After I spread them around and get dirty, you know, get them dirty, uh, this cleans them off and makes them look also pretty again. All right, Jess is going to stack that. I'm going to go rinse my hand, finish up talking to people. We've got 18 on there still, so. Finishing that up. So we will definitely water some tonight. Uh, do you guys prefer P BX or H BX, HP? They're about the same in grow, to be honest with you. Water, yeah, the HP is going to take more watering. The BX is going to taste less watering. If you're using HP, you're going to have to water twice a day. If you're using the BX, you can get away with one day of watering. How long is blackout? We only blackout, uh, well, we put in these peas, we put in germination for three days with weight on top, and then no blackout, they go straight to light. Are you guys based out of, again, oh, sorry, I'm new, no, no problem. Uh, we're based out of Central Illinois. Yep, Central Illinois is where we're at. Um, so we're a pretty good area. We can reach a lot of the towns around us and stuff. You have to drive a little bit, but you know, we live in the Midwest. We always have to drive, so. You wanna pin a comment for me? Yes? You wanna pin a comment? Yeah, Central Illinois, uh, smack dab pretty much in the middle of Illinois, so. That's awesome. I'm in Florida growing too. What part of Florida? We got some students in Florida. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Some of our students in our course is uh, in, in Florida. So I know some people, I uh, got a sister-in-law who lives in Tampa. I know a girl out of Tampa that was on our podcast in the beginning. So yeah, the Reels is in Tampa. Yeah. He's also in our group as well. I wasn't going to call you out unless you put it in there, so I was just going to say where people are at. <laughs> know somebody that grows there uh, that's got a really good business, and then the reels, Carlos here, is uh, he is uh, also in Tampa, So, and then we got somebody in the panhandle as well. Florida is a good market for microgreens, that's for sure. And if anybody hasn't, and if you want to, there's our free group right there in the pinned comments. Uh, it's off platform. It's not on any social media stuff, and just, you can click on that link. Uh, that it's a free group. You just have to answer a couple questions when you get in there to make sure you're a human, 
and you're not a spammer or anything else, and you can uh, join that group and go deeper. We always are posting stuff in there. Students are posting stuff. Students are helping each other. It's a great community where everybody can help everybody, and it's not distracted. It's just about microgreens and indoor vertical farming. So the villages, I'm not familiar where the villages are at, so I'll have to look that up. I'm not sure. Thank you for the subs, guys. Rick and Die Walker. Sorry if I said that wrong, but thanks. Thanks for the subs. Appreciate it. Central Florida. Okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. Love Florida. Haven't been there in a few years, but uh, Florida is one of my favorite states. Uh, Arizona is my number one. I really love Arizona. That's my number one, Scottsdale area, but Florida's good too. Love that. All right, what other, uh, anybody got any questions or comments or wants, want to know anything? Uh, want to look around at all? Whatever you want. We're pretty much done for the day. Just came back to do this after watching a movie. So... I had dentist appointment this morning, went and watched a movie this afternoon, screwed everything back to come in and do all this tonight, so that way we could just enjoy our day. Uh, it's a great thing about being a business for yourself, you can move stuff around. This is great, I will look you up in your classes. Yep, just look that up, Growth Bites on school.com. That's K-O-O-L.com. Target humidity somewhere between 40 to 50 percent. Uh, the lower the humidity, the more you have to water. The higher the humidity, the less you want to water. So if you're near the 50, you want to barley water less because you're going to have more humidity in that air. 40, you're probably going to have to water more. And depending on what soil you have, you'll have to water less or more. But yeah. Um, I'll have to look at the sheet. I don't remember if I put that in there. I, uh, I think I put vehicle cost in there. If I didn't, that's not an updated one. I'll get an updated one in there. But yeah, you want to calculate all them expenses, um, and you want to do it over a whole cost. And it's it's a little harder to do uh, vehicle cost. It's more that's more of the overhead. So the growing the sheet that I have in there is just how much does it cost to produce a tray? So your what your labor, your lights, your water, uh, the packaging, all that stuff. That's what it costs to produce a tray. Then you're going to have overhead expense, uh, and everybody's overhead expense is going to be different. Uh, so it's hard calculation. Gas prices are different. All that stuff is different. So that, to me, is just overhead expense. So your gas, your, uh, your rent, if you're paying any rent, uh, if you're doing a warehouse like we are. Uh, if you're in home, you obviously don't have that. So that's not an expense you have. But that's some overhead expense. It doesn't directly attribute to uh, the growing of a tray and the packaging of the product and everything else. So... That is not in there because that to me is just overhead. So you just kind of kind of calculate what your overhead is on that, um, and if you're still making money. But really, it's a very minimal cost. We spend, we do multiple six-figure business, and we spend about a hundred bucks a week in uh, in gas. So four hundred dollars, four to five hundred dollars, depending on the gas prices, uh, closer to five hundred dollars right now a month uh, for gas. So that's you know seventy-two hundred dollars a year. It's a very minimal cost of the business. I can't click on the class. You, you can you send the comments with the URL only? Jess, are you on here? Can you do that? Where are you at? Yeah, they say they can't click on the link. Can't click on the class link. Can you please comment with the full URL? I can do that. We'll get that done for you here in just a second. She's going to go back and do that. Let me see. I'm going to. Sorry, reconnecting there. Um, I just checked the link and it probably went. It went for me. So. Yeah, make sure you check that again. Maybe. Yeah, I understand. If you just click on that link, it definitely will go to it. Uh, I just did it. 
Uh, that is the microgreen one. Um, that is our paid course that's $79 right now. So you can get in our paid course for $79 if you click on that link. That's school, school.com slash microgreens um, slash about. That'll take you to the about page and you can find out some more information about us. But that'll take you there. And that's the paid group. The other one, the Growth Bites one, is the free group, um, free community in there. There's also a paid course in there, but the community is free in that part. Um, and the paid course you get right now, it's normally $97 a month. Um, I was going to announce this tomorrow for anybody who wanted to get in, but you guys get it early if you want. Uh, $79 uh, to get in that course. And that's that will lock you in for life at that price, $79 a month. So um, you can check that out. Uh, the price will go back up to 97. I'm just going to run a special. Uh, probably will end the end of this week. Probably tomorrow. Um, if we get 10 people in there, I'll probably end that price. So, $79, and then you get the whole course and everything like that. And anybody that gets in today or tomorrow, because I was going to announce this tomorrow, anybody that gets in today or tomorrow for the $79, normally doing the marketing course this for lifetime members. Uh, but as long as you're a member at that $79 price. I'm going to give you uh, the course, uh, micro, the marketing course as well, which is a live active work with you course. We did one last night. Uh, Carlos was on there. Uh, a couple of the members, Tracy was in here, is, is on that. Uh, and they were there yet last night. It was the ground facing of how to build a website. And then we're going to stack on top of that all your marketing. We do that every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. We do a live Q&A every night at Tuesday, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. as well. So you get us two times a week. Uh, more probably to come. You get a full classroom, full courses in there and everything else for $79. Plus you get the marketing. So if you want that. But yeah, definitely if you want, check out the free free community as well. Uh, it is great. So a lot of great information in there as well. And we do a monthly uh, live Q&A for that free group as well. And that's the, end, the last Thursday of every month that we do a, just a group Q&A live for everybody that's in that group. So. We give a lot away for free. If you want to go deeper, you just got to pay, but uh, we give a lot away for free, so check out that free group. So, Any other questions, guys, gals, peoples? Any other things you want to know? If not, I'm going to clean up the table, get out of here, let you guys go, enjoy your evening. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I hope to connect you with you more, at least in the free group, uh, that free group, school.com slash growth bites. I hope to connect more with you there. Oh, thanks, you reals. Definitely worth every money, especially the marketing course. I appreciate that. Yeah, and they can get in for $79 a month right now. Uh, it's on there. It's live under that microgreens one, the school.com slash microgreens. $79, you can join that group, and uh, it's a great price. You can get a lot of great information for $79 for four weeks, if that's all you spend. Yeah, but... That's the special that's going to be today and tomorrow. I was going to announce it only tomorrow, but anybody that's seeing this, it's today, Thursday, March 7th. That offer is good today and tomorrow, $79. And you get all of it. I'm going to throw the marketing course in as well. So, Thanks for the support. Support the Reels. Appreciate it a lot. Appreciate you being in there. Really enjoy having you in our course. So, And he's a lifetime member. So we definitely appreciate our lifetime members and all our members. Thanks for the hearts, guys, the likes, shares, the subscribers, all that stuff. Appreciate you guys highly. It does help us out a lot uh, to get out and serve more people. We want to give people the real information about my green business. So we show you everything that we do. We hide nothing. Uh, it's all live here on YouTube. You can see everything we do. Uh, we do our live plantings. We do our live harvesting. Uh, I haven't done a delivery like live because that's a little harder. But I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to do a video of it, I think, uh, with the new camera once I get once I get a gimbal in. I'm telling the wife I need a gimbal, you know, maybe she'll listen. So if you guys can comment, uh, give, let him get a gimbal in the comments. Maybe she'll let me. Let him get it. Just put let him get it. And then that way I can do the camera and do a gimbal and go around and show you how we deliver and all that stuff. So. It's a little harder to hold the camera otherwise. Um,
Let him get it, Jess. There you go. Thanks, Rails. Appreciate it. We got one. Can we get another one? We get another one. I'm sure she'll let me get it. She probably will anyway, but it's, it's for marketing. You got to have good stuff for marketing, right? You're going to go in the stores and take better pictures with the new camera and all that stuff too and get them out there, show you guys stuff. Going to do some overhead shots of harvesting and packing. Uh, so I'm going to do a little different this week uh, with uh, the camera, kind of stand it up um, and get it up above so you guys can see how uh, the packing is being done. Uh, if I let him get it, unless it costs prohibitive. <laughs> Don't say that part. Just say let him get it. But yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love the reasoning. <laughs> it does have to be cost prohibitive. That is very true. When you're doing business, you definitely got to make sure it makes sense to get it. She's the itty-bitty micro farm on here right now, guys, so she's the one commenting. Though it is for marketing. Yeah, it is for marketing. And we're going to be teaching everybody how to do marketing right now, so, you know, it just kind of goes hand-in-hand hand to get a better marketing tool, right? That's what I say. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys letting her know that I need it and why she's on here, and she can hear us, and she can see the comments and everything else. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the likes and the laughs and the hearts and everything. It really means a lot to us when you guys are on here hanging out with us and showing you what we do. Um, really appreciate the support. Hope to connect with you more in the free group or the paid group. Either way, we'd love to have you over there and teach you more about the micro business and go deeper and get one-on-one Q&As where maybe we can see each other. You can turn your camera on if you like. And uh, we can get to know each other a little bit deeper uh, level than just a name on the screen and everything else. So uh, appreciate you guys being here. We will see you guys tomorrow morning uh, doing the full planting. So probably around 10 a.m. So if you want to tune into that, we'll see you then. Have a great night. Bye. Thanks, Tracy. Marketing is 80% of the business. Yep, yep, 80% of the business. All right, have a good night, guys. Thank you.